You've got your brand new pirate freighter in No Man's Sky. And when you've tried to build anything, if you got outside, you've probably noticed how amazing it all looks out there. So I've come up with a build that will take advantage of those amazing vistas. I also have a very useful farm for doing those expeditions through the kiosk. And with the stellar extractor rooms functioning correctly now, gathering certain types of resources can also be practical. So you may have noticed I'm wandering around my build right now, so you can get a good sense of the layout and the size of the build. And after I've completed my walkthrough, I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide how to build it. But I do advise watching the walkthrough so you get a good sense of the build and where everything is, because it is a massive base and you probably are going to get lost a few times. Here's the final view and I'll go into camera board to have an overview of the final build. So I'm outside, I'm in build camera mode. First thing to do is to clear the palette. Select the technology expansion room. Recolor the part if you wish, and create a room 3x5. Place a door. And with the exterior platform, create a space 7x6. We don't need those four, so we can delete them. And place some exterior stairs like so. Then fill in the gap. Then create two floors of six pallets along. Place two stairs like so. 
three floors, two more stairs, two more floors, and finally two more stairs and some floors. And that's your basic frame which we're going to walk from. At any point, if I'm going too fast, if you click the little cog, you can slow the video footage down. Let's head into the main operations room, and at the menu, we can select swap parts and swap out the rooms. The button's in the menu bar, and for swap out rooms, it's the one in the far left. Occasionally you're going to have to delete rooms because you'll have to rotate the part. I've installed the scanner, the teleporter room, the galactic trade terminal. Now it's just the fleet command rooms. I'm outside facing towards the flight deck and I've already built a section on the left. I'm going to repeat it on the right. I'm going to select the biological expansion room or call these the grow rooms from now on and I'm going to build them in camera view using the lights at the top so I know what direction it's going to be. That one's not in the middle so I'm going to move it up one. Then I'm going to select the double cultivation rooms. Place a door. I put five cultivation rooms at the back. Now I'm going to mirror that on the second floor. Then I'm going to put an enclosed freighter stair at the end on the second floor. Attach a door. Then do a grow expansion room along the back of the third floor. And double cultivation rooms at the front. Then I'm going to make a copy of those stairs and put another one at the other end. And a final expansion room to connect it up. It's always good to walk the base after you build a section to see if everything's okay and how it feels. You saw this earlier, but I'm going to rebuild it. These are the storage rooms and this is how I laid it out. Nothing too difficult here, it just kicks you out the menu every time you put one down. Back in the operation room and I'm going to build two rooms exactly the same on the left and the right. So place four expansion industrial rooms, then four refiners, 
and four stellar extractor rims at the back, the recolor if you wish. Then select an interior wall to fill any gaps you don't want. And finally a door. Of course you're going to fill in the gap for the grow room as well. Remember you create this room in both sides, left and right. Then above the rooms we just built, I'm going to use the legacy parts to build a 4x2 room. Copy that door, place it in the new room. You're probably wondering why I'm using legacy parts in this location. It's because I'm going to fill this room with standing planters. But you can use the high-tech rooms if you want. And as there's no connection between these two rooms on the second floor, I can change that into a double cultivation chamber. And the same on the other end. We're going to the next floor up, the third floor, left and right of the operations room. And you can see I'm using the legacy parts again. Don't use them. I changed my mind later in the build and I turned these into grow rooms. So put eight grow rooms down instead, a two by four. But still put that window in. And if I go outside and go into camera mode, facing towards the flight deck, these are the rooms I've just built. And if you've built everything in both sides, this is what the build should look at this point. We're going to extend the walkway on the fourth floor, both sides. Open up the Freighter Corridor sub-menu and select the straight corridor and place three of them on each side. Open up the Glass Corridor sub-menu and select the L junction and rotate them so they're facing towards the flight deck. Then add doors to the corridors. Then we're going to make the living quarters out of the large freighter room A legacy parts. Then on that L junction, create a platform. And add two more doors. And of course, do the same on the other side. Then on the fourth floor, add a grow room 3x5. I just use the expansion pieces because I'm going to go inside and manually change them.
Then at the back of the build, we're going to extend the walkway across. At the back on the ground floor, we're going to build two rooms either side, two by two. And I'm using the high-tech technology rooms. Place a door. And of course, fill any gaps you don't want. And these are good rooms to put your sign specialist and things like that. At this point, I decided to recolor the floor panels and the stairs. At the back, I'm going to use industrial expansion rooms on the second floor to create two rooms of two by three. Then select the straight glass corridor rooms and fill in the gap. And finally, attach some doors. And then those two rooms we've just built attach two L junctions at the very back of the build, rotated inwards. Then some freighter stairs attached to those L junctions. A glass corridor to those stairs. And a T junction facing away from the flight deck. Then I create a platform attached to the T-junction. Then finally a door. Remember, it's always good to walk the build after you've done it to make sure everything looks fine. Because it's always good to put some time aside to take in the view. Okay, let's put some windows in. Now this is the only glitch that's in this build and you don't have to do it, as it is one of the worst ones to try and do. But if you do attempt it, you're probably not going to get it the first time and you're going to have a high fail rate. So if you get frustrated, leave it till later. But scale up a locker, select the item, hit triangle and square in the PlayStation, other platforms, bottom left corner, copy the large locker and then hit wire and place at the same time. And you've just scaled up an item. In the middle of your build, remove one of the floors. Scale up a covered brick pile and place another one on top of it. Put the floor back for now. Scale up the candelabra bloom. Remove the floor. As you can see, the terrain won't fit. Reduce the brick pile. Get the right angle and carefully place the terrain so it's nice and centered. Then you can remove the bricks and put the floor back. If you reduce the locker from max to this size, you can then do the scale glitch on the fish tank. And 
place it underneath the stairs near the flight deck. The reason I'm showing you the fish tank first, as I know quite a few of you might not have this item. The holographic chart projector was an item that you got from an expedition, so it's no longer available. So if you got this, use this instead of the fish tank. If you don't, the fish tank will do. Or you could do something completely different. Okay, remove the stair at the back of the build, as we're going to build a garden underneath the stairs. This is quite straightforward, so all you have to do is follow along. If it's going too fast, you can just simply slow down the video. But once you've got the foundations in place, you'll have to remove that room so you can get the stairs back in and then put the room back. And of course, put that wall back as well. Placing a plant time. This is a bit you can slow down if you need to.
That's the garden on one side of the stairs done. You need to repeat the process for the other side. Then we're going to make copies of the holographic projectors and place them like so. If you went with the fish tanks, copy them but lay them out slightly differently. I'm going to subdivide each of the grow rooms with glass walls. I'll do the third floor on foot. Of course, remember to do this on both sides. I simply place those items that you can see there, but I'm going to put a light source behind them just to make it a little bit brighter. And then I'm going to create some spotlights on the doors by placing lanterns like so and then putting the door back. After doing the three doors at the back of the build, for the rest of the doors I'm going to use white pill lights instead. I've removed the walkway so I can get pill lights along the edge. I have decided to make a balcony on the third floor, so I need to place pill lights for the door in the middle and pill lights either side for the balcony. Then I can pop inside and change the layout slightly. to the pill lights for the fourth floor. And don't forget the doors at the very top. Remove a floor, it's time to create a message board. Place a pill light inside there to illuminate it. Select the lab post and scale it like so. and use the pattern on the floor to make sure it's all nice and straight. You can delete those pill lights and put the floor back. Place some brick piles like I am, scaled up.
select a flat panel and scale it and position it like I am. Then we're going to do a similar thing for the data displays unit. Facing towards the flight deck, scale up a locker like so. Then select the illuminated sign, enlarge it and rotate it. We're creating another garden at the back of the build. Slow the footage down if you need to. Then at the very top, at the flight deck end, create a platform, as this platform is going to be very useful later.
Right, we're at the back of the build, and on either side, we're going to create two grow rooms, two by five. Then above that, on the top floor, at the back, we're going to place a T-junction. Two straight corridors. Then a grow room, two by four, with one extra. And of course the door. Then off that corridor we just created, we'll create a platform at the very back on the left and right. We're going to place an illuminated sign on the two balconies on the left and right of the build. And for that moon sign, all I did was place it. To create some floating screens, all we have to do is enlarge some servers. Enlarge some wall screens and toggle through the different rotations to get the right angle. Then carefully position. I'm going to scale down a locker this time. Use the scale glitch to reduce the size of the fish tank. Walk it to the living quarters. Carefully position a worktop, scaling it down, try to get the right size. Place the three fish tanks like so, delete the worktop and put the glass wall back. And now you've got an aquarium. I've got another short range teleporter at the top of my build, so I'm just going to place this one and then walk the wire to the top. Connect it to the other short range teleporter. Do you see that ship? We're going to use the short range teleporter, dive into the flight deck, use the teleporters in the flight deck. And now we can inspect that ship. And if you do a reload, you can check whatever the first born ships are at every system, making ship hunting a lot easier. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.